All right, guys, today we're gonna go ahead and start with a stretch, lean down to one side. And go down to the other side. Go down to the middle. As far down as you can go. And come up. Let's go ahead and start with a cardio workout. Get these high knees in. All right, moving into high knee kickers. You got it, guys. Okay, here's a fun one. You're gonna take your opposite leg to your opposite hand and try and jump these and get your feet as high as you can. All right, if you have an imaginary jump rope or if you have a real jump rope, right now we're gonna go ahead and do some jump ropes. And finishing off our workout with some jumping jacks. Hey, MP May. Okay, so how our self defense is gonna break down is there's gonna be one high rank one intermediate and one low rank self-defense. So all low ranks will do their same self-defense, all intermediates the same self-defense, all high ranks the same self-defense. And then guys, as you go through, so intermediates, we are gonna encourage you to do yours and the low ranks. High ranks, we're gonna encourage you to do yours, intermediates and low ranks. And then black belts, you're gonna do all of them. So how we're gonna do this guys is we are going to go ahead and break them down with a partner. So if you have a sister or a brother or a parent or someone who is around to do it with you, you're more than welcome to do it together. Just if you're using a sibling, make sure your parents are there too so they can control um, how intense you're going. Um, but then we're also gonna break it down for a solo drill as well. So if you need help on uh, learning how to break it down by yourself or you can train by yourself, you're gonna have that opportunity as well, okay? So we have all these cool things coming. Stay tuned, work hard. We wanna see these posting, guys. Um, thanks so much for all you're already doing. You are such an encouragement. We'll see you in a sec. Hi, Hanks. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be working on our hair grass. So you got beautiful hair going on, it's gonna get messed up. Just be aware of this. So. What we're gonna be doing is, is your partner will be grabbing you from the front. Now typically when someone grabs, they're grabbing like this, in that fist form. And it does not feel too great when you get your fist smashed. But that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take our hands, we're gonna hit these knuckles. If you're working with a sibling or a parent, guys, if you hit too hard, it will hurt them and they don't wanna be your partners anymore. So make sure you take care. Parents, if you want to show them this, that's up to you. Okay, <laughs> so you're gonna be here. You're gonna hands on the head. As soon as I hands on the head, and if I hit hard enough, their reaction is going to be shocking. Their eyes are going to go big and their hands are going to jolt. So I'm going to hit, and in that same moment, I'm going to drag them down. All right? I bow down here because now I have broken this straight arm and I've broken it down here. So what do we do next? If I've broken them down here, what can I do from this position? I can come up and I can start kicking as I come through. But if I kick, boom, I'm now going to step in. This arm is going to knock that lower. Elbow higher, stop and push. All right, so this is what we're gonna do again. We're gonna be here. You're gonna hit, down, kick, elbow, and stomping on with this foot, elbow, push them away. Make sure you give me an eye out when you alone. When I see this in those videos, I wanna hear and see what you're gonna do. I'm about to break it down for you without a partner as well. You got this, guys. Hi, Rings, you're gonna be working that hair grab. So someone has your hair from the front. So like I said before, people don't like it whenever you smash their hand together. It never feels good. But that's what we're doing. We're gonna take both of our hands on the top of our head. All right, don't knock yourself silly, guys, but you wanna feel that pressure. All right, I don't know if you can hear it from there. I can definitely hear it whenever I hit my own head. So you're gonna be here, they've got your head, one clasp on top. Both hands hit on top. Ready, again, up, hit. One more time, up, hit. Okay, so now I'm here. I'm going to be dragging them back, all right? I'm gonna be bowing at this because guys, how quickly we look away, we're gonna be able to fire that kick back. So, 
Hear me here, they grab you. Hit, and I'm down. Ready, go. Hit, yank down. Again, hit, yank down. So now as I've yanked down, my back leg is chambered and ready to boom, kick as I come back in. Ready, so I'm going to hit, bring down, kick. Go ahead and stomp that foot down at the end. Ready, again, hit, down, kick. One more time, ready, hit, down, kick, land. All right, now as I've landed, guys, I'm closer enough that their hands are here, okay? They have no power in this angle. So as I'm here, or even like this, no power in that angle. My hands are controlling theirs, I can't move it off. Whenever I'm right here, I've already bent them down weird, I've kicked them, they're shocked. Now, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burst their hand off with an inner forearm strike, okay? So I'm here, y'all ready? We are going to hit, grab, kick, stomp, strike. Again, you're here. Hit, down, kick, stomp, strike. One more time, ready? Hit, down, kick, stomp, strike. Now my hands here can elbow through the back, shove and push away, all right? So we're here, we're gonna hit, down, kick, stomp, strike, shrug. I go, leave me alone. I love putting the extra elbow in there though. So we're gonna be here, down, kick, Stomp, elbow, boom, shove. I oh, yeah, leave me alone. Why are we shoving? Because we want to get them away from us. Guys, you can disorient them by pushing them backwards. They're usually just going to keep going away, okay? So we're getting them away from us without having to further damage them. Um, hopefully we didn't have to damage them. Hopefully we're not in this uh, issue to begin with. But one more time, we're going to hit. We're going to break it down to that bow. Kick, stomp, block. You just can shove from there, or you can throw another elbow, push. I am. Leave me alone. Loud yells, guys, get this practice going on. You got this. All right, time to move into our cycle set workout. Our split stretch. So go ahead. I want to see who can get these splits knocked out. I want you to straighten that front leg out, lean down over it. If you can touch your nose to your knee, go ahead and do that for me. Lean forward. Now you're straightening out your back leg, stretching that back hip flexor. Good, good. Leaning back all the way this time, sitting back into this, stretching your front hip flexor. Now you're gonna take your opposite hand to your foot. Good. And now you have two options. You can either do the same stretch leaning over that leg or you can try and go into those full splits. Ta-da, just like that. Spreading both feet straight out. Now we're gonna show you from a different angle. The other leg. You're gonna lean straight down over that leg. Remember touching your nose to that knee if you can. Lean straight over that leg. Stretching out the back hip flexor right now. All right, now you're gonna lean all the way back, stretching out the front hip flexor, leaning down over that leg. Take the opposite hand to that foot. And 
then now I want you to go ahead and stretch all the way out for me into the full splits. You got it guys, y'all are doing an awesome job.